Uh, hello, I'm 2D, I'm the singer, and I play the pianos, and I need the toilet. Hello, Mum, you're listening to the radio? Oh, Mum? Hi, I'm Russell, I'm the fat beat machine, and I ain't getting no play with no food sucker. Edible, get that cloth from away from me. Hi, I'm Murdoch, and I play bass in this outfit. Oh, my hobbies are hang gliding and cat changing. <laughs> and this is something they should never forget, is that it's my band. It's my band. Uh, yeah, um, I dabbled with, um, Satan's Scrotum, Thor's Roar, and my personal favourite was Number of the Beats. Yeah. Oh, I like that one, man, you know, it's good. Oh, I thought the, the punch-ups was cool. Yeah. I like Midas and Oblix and Ass Tricks, but Noodles saved us in the nick of time before our first gig. Gorilla! Guerrilla warfare, chemical warfare, or expensive bus fare. Whatever it takes to rid the charts of the virulent Eboya band virus. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think I made a hideous mistake. Oh, have you? Uh, anything I can help you with? Uh, only joshing, <laughs> you little faggot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, our first gig at the Camden Brown House turned into a, like a monster riot, you know? It was a bang out of order. And then EMI's legendary headhunter, what's his name again? I c oh, oh, Whiff Whiffy Smith. He was there, right, and he snapped us up there and then. And before we knew what was going on, we were, like, signing our contract in London Zoo. Oh, with all the tigers. <laughs> Nobody has been willing to put us on after the, um, incident at the Brown House. I watch zombie movies all day. Uh, Noodle practices her karate and prunes her bonsai. And uh, Russell is the, the school's the local Skinner community. And I just sit there making packs with the devil. Hail Satan! <laughs> I'm gonna answer that if y'all don't mind. You see. All bands are manufactured to a greater or lesser extent. If you take the lowest common denominator, the boy band, then it's a case of you gonna pay peanuts, you gonna get monkeys. You pay top dollar, you get gorillas. Well, I'll answer this if you don't mind. We got a mixing desk, yeah, and Todd, our tech, puts all the sounds in there and, and, and then we're done. Bravo, Brainache. The world is now enlightened. It ain't wrong, but it ain't right. Uh, we call it zombie hip-hop or dark pop. Yeah, or German two-step fresh lounge, or sweet corn. Since when we've been calling our shit sweet corn? No problem. Uh, Fatty Arbuckle and Leonard Skinner, to, to name just two. Tom Savini and John Cassavetes. Got to be Farrakhan and Shaka Khan. Bitchy Samprato! Pikachu to Gold Duck!
Oh, I am not going down any path that Radiohead has walked down. Give me an avocado stone and a shoehorn and I'll show you something really experimental, man, yeah? I think daytime TV show called John claude Van Damme's Big Bag of Chat would be quite experimental. Stupid is the new clever. Like Grey was the new black. Like Tom York is the new Marty Feldman. Do you know how much salad we had to toss to get that kind of coverage? Besides, it's hip to be hype. This is evolution. If you're old, bald, or in the way, we'll push you over. <laughs> Have you ever seen a fully grown naked man grasping his broadsword? <laughs> Yeah, Mick Hucknall. Ah, oh, Mick Hucknall, man. Oh. Hey, listen, I hate ginger dread men, you know. They just make me bath up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, death is the only fate befitting that ponce, whereupon he will suffer eternal torment in hell. <laughs> Sounds about right to me, but it's a sucker. Well, uh, we recorded the album in Jamaica and I was on the studio roof recording the vocal for Soundcheck and while I was singing, right, I was looking up at the stars and this giant vulture, right, that the locals called Johnny Bird, swooped down and took me into the mountains and left me there with a Rastafarian medicine man called Wobbly. I stayed there for a week and he fed me with vegan food and educated me in the ways of Jar Selassie I the first, but I can't remember a word he said. Kingston, Jamaica, you know, she's cousin of the two at the now. Yeah. No, no, the lyric is, she turned my dad on. The song's about Lindsay Dawn McKenzie. She always made my dad make a grab for a cushion for his lap. <laughs> she's got athlete's beaver, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Augustus Pablo's bass player, Junior Dan, jammed with Murdoch on that track. And 2D added that solid reggae vibe on his Suzuki Omnichord. The rap, you all know, was provided by my dear departed high school pal, Dell, whose spirit now lives inside of me. Um... The Boom Boom Bling Bling boys rent the studio next door to ours. They stole some master tapes and some stickers and went to Radio One's Dream Team. Yeah. No. We got it done for Notting Hill Carnival and you got on the stage and did a live PA high on rum punch. Same thing in my books. Well, the funny thing is, I'm only nostalgic about things that happened in the past. Mick Jones and Johnny Rotten, thank you very much. Well, in in the same way that AZ Fantasy can mutate into Jeremy Healy, taking the punk ethos onto the dance floor for Ibiza and still maintain the size to leg ratio, yeah? But you can't turn a fat boy into a house martin, right? Yeah, well, what has John Wayne's big leggy got to do with anything anyway? I think we all know what Chuck D had to say about that good old boy.
Uh, so my, we know who Johnny Bird is. Yeah, Johnny Bird, he's like this big vulture, you know, with like Cuban heels, man. And he's got these like trousers he wears, you know, and they're sort of like slightly flared and nestling gently on top of his casual shoes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that fatty small shot him. Fatty small. I keep telling Biggie Smalls, man. Forgive him. He knows not what he says. Amen. Oh, sorry, I meant to say, hail Satan, bugger. <laughs> I've absolutely no idea. <laughs> no, seriously, no. I, I've always been like a big Howard DeVoto fan. And I love him. I love her. Lovely big man. And I was listening to a magazine, right, uh, while driving up to Stoke to see my little old grandmother. Oh, she's lovely. That's my lovely grandmother, not the other one who's not quite as nice. Anyway, that's another story. But the motorway was completely empty. And it reminded me of Romero's Day of the Dead, so I sort of stuck it all together and kind of, you know, came up with M1A1. It's not where you're from, it's where you're at. I mean, Ian Brown said that, you know? Yeah, and that brother's had more monkey in him than Mickey Dolez. <laughs> We all love each other, except Murdoch, who hates us all and himself equally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that would be true. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, what's, what's your point? What's your point? Oh, I love you, Murdoch. Look, I won't say it again. I saved your life. You owe me your soul, man. OK. Oh, nice one. Oh, well, no, I, I thought it was rather flattering, actually. Yeah. Oh, well, you see, we formed as a band in April 98, right? And then it took some time for our individual characters to gel together. And... Basically, it's only after many punch-ups, screaming matches and late-night colouring in sessions that we've kind of reached a point where we can get on stage, pull our pants up high under our armpits and shout, Hello, Mr. President. Hell, there ain't no point being a big gorilla in a little pond. Limp Biscuit, Pearl Jam, and every other bunch of butthole surfers that you may care to mention. The best comparison I can think for being a cartoon band is finding yourself sewn into the seat of William Hanna and Joe Barbera's jogging pants on the day they invented the new schmoo. That was a pretty wild ride. Uh, well, and I always have the models of Brian Jones, Dennis Hopper, and Peter Falk in my mind. Um, I say the Stones are pretty successful, you know. And, and like, you know, me and Mick, you know, man, we just like, you know, kind of got it together. And I remember seeing Mick on a train, you know, and I said, hi, Mick, how you doing? Where'd you get the records? <laughs> I personally would like to have Jimmy Brown as my chauffeur, Puff Daddy as my caddy, and Dr. Huxtable as my GP. That shit would be dope. Um, well, I made off with most of the Monday's equipment. Bez even helped me load out most of the gear, actually. <laughs> Good old Bez. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, me, Lemmy and Slash are the wheat that has risen to the top, yeah, kind of uh, separating us from that old chaff, Blobby Williams. That lad has let our town down badly. The vat of boiling oil I'd pour on them from the upstairs toilet. Chips and sweets. <laughs> No, there is not a spiritual side to me. I am all spiritual. Have you seen the Wicker Man? Because I've been looking everywhere for him. <laughs> He's my little friend. <laughs> no, no, seriously, though, man. My religion is like you know, the oldest in the world, man. Oh, yeah, from the mosh pit. Oh, uh, the same ones that I always have. Uh, Otis Redding, Horace Sandy, Scott Walker and uh, Jane Birkin. She makes me feel all funny in the nether regions and me pink bits and, yeah. Uh, Murdoch called me to d because I've got two dents in my head from my Ram Raid coma car crash episode in my life. It's not because I'm two-dimensional or anything like that. Well, uh, when I came to, I found that I had an instant recall to Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, but nothing out of the ordinary. What do you mean, nearly killed me? I've never nearly been killed before. When were we on the cover of Face? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, they're the same thing, I think, aren't they? Uh, uh, Russ? Russell? I'd move its geographical location to the Caribbean. It's bigger than any dualism. I don't really perceive an external edge to gorillas. Man, that, that question is obvious. You know, obviously it's from my childhood, but the lady kicks ass and I like her big hair. I agree with most Def on this one. Hip-hop is not some mystical thing separate from the people producing it or the brothers out on the street living it. So the question we got to ask ourselves is, are we the people in a good phase right now?
its ever-living soul constantly changing and rearranging. Man, you got to be a diplomat to be a musician. And as musicians, we are diplomats. Those suckers went last one day in Brooklyn High. Not that there's anything wrong with that shit. It just don't help me. Except when I want to sleep. My speciality, black leather Stussy Parker that I picked up in L.A. I ain't leaving. Who said I was leaving? I ain't getting no, no play with no fool, sucker. You can't be breaking that shit up into bite-sized portions. It's there to be swallowed whole. Yeah, sure there is, but I ain't heard him or seen him yet. What is it with this career shit? That's exactly what we ain't about. Gorillas is like the musical version of the A-Team. I'm Mr. T, 2D's face, Murdoch is Murdoch, and Noodle, she like a Japanese George Peppard. Graham Coxon, he came out the years on none. Kin no fruit or do, take no fruit. Gorillas no naka dewa, ata liyou kenen de. Fruit o wa hiru no yo, fruit wa yuru no yo te kanji desa. I think she said yes, or uh, maybe no. She trying to explain the way of Tao is everything. Ah, yoru osoku made okite nakan kara muchakuchu tsukaren nen. She a little girl, you know, she gets very tired. T.T.もう結構頑張ってんねんで、精神疲れてるわ。けど、マードックは全然ねえへんし、精神めぎらぎらしてるやん。機嫌悪いし困んねん。そうやすな決まってるやん。What the sister's trying to say is, we are dot com, not co dot uk. Sister trying to tell you to know the road ahead as those coming back. That shit is deep. Yeah. Hi, Hi we're the gorillas. 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 You're listening to the radio don't, and touch your daily thing.
Hi, my name's Murdoch. I'm from the Gorillas, and uh, this is our new single, Clint Eastwood. Ah, uh, I'm Russell. You're listening to the Gorillas. And this is our new single. Clint Eastwood. Uh, hello, I, I'm 2D. And I am not 2D. <laughs> 2D or not 2D? That is the question, man. I no, like the, it, que I like the it. question is, this is our... What is the question? The question is, what's our new single called? And the answer is... Clint Eastwood doo-doo, like Noodle would say. Right. Hi, I'm Murder from the Gorillas. You're listening to a lovely, lovely little single called 5 4. Hi, I'm 2D, and it, it listens to our new single uh, 5 4. It's not actually that new because we've done it a long time ago. Uh, I'm 2D and you're listening to the radio. Five, four! That's our new single. So go out and get it. Gorillas! <laughs>